dismal niche. <laughs> <laughs> Which apparently is a place where Lewis and Clark, who are the main people that explore this region, got stuck for a week. They were talking about how it was depressing and dangerous. So it's called Dismal Niche. But why we're here is because it faces right against the Astoria Bridge, which is almost our end goal here. because their ceviche just came. But anyway, we're on Oregon coast. We just made it across the Astoria Bridge. And it's amazingly even sunny now. We went through a lot of rain to get here. And we wondered if it will ever break through. And we also wondered whether there'll be any food um, options on Thanksgiving. But it turns out there are um, plenty, it seems like. Stevens and the northern edge, northwestern edge of Oregon near Astoria. There's supposed to be a shipwreck, but I don't know where it is. Oh, we did. Oh, well, we made. I didn't see that sign. But yeah, it's cool. I like it here. And we have very little light, so we need to go south to film a little more. We're about to check in into our residence for half of Thanksgiving weekend, which is the Red Lion. Right by the Right by the river. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Oh, well, we have a little kitchenette here. This is actually kind of strange. Like, it's clearly been renovated, but they left some remnants, like yeah. an open sink area and a kitchen. arcade in, in Seaside called Funland and I'm reliving my American childhood that I never had so I'm trying to play the games I've never seen before and it looks like the time he stopped at best or at latest in the 90s so it's kind of funny. So 
for we thought earlier that today would be very difficult to find food and the weather would be miserable but it actually cleared up and food was very easy to find i always just assumed that most restaurants would be closed on thanksgiving but at least here in seaside there have been at least two restaurants open and they're serving traditional thanksgiving dinners in addition to their regular menu so it turns out really pleasant and being here in low season in November, it's actually a holiday, so it's not exactly low, but um, it's nice because we get a good deal on the hotel and it's a nice place as well. And it has everything we need so far. Tomorrow we're exploring south. Tillamook area, right next to Tillamook Bay, and we are actually heading for the bay itself right now. This is a famous area for the cheese, and it does have a lot of farm. We just left the Tillamook Creamery, which is where they um, they have an interactive museum, and so you can see how the cheese is made, and also taste test the cheese, and get grilled cheese sandwiches or ice cream there. So we just had our brunch for the day. We're going straight east yeah. or west right now to the ocean and we want to see the bay however it's raining really hard. not that hard but it's pretty wet And they are waterproof. Which are actually great for walking around in the rain, but right now I'm gonna put on my huge what are these minerals? This is Solomon. They're Solomons. And these are also waterproof. And also Gore-Tex. Yep, but I don't mind getting these a little dirty. Alright, we're now in the little town. And we're about to walk on the actual beach of the Pacific Ocean. What's the name of this beach? The name of this beach is Oceanside Beach, which is not a very original or unique name. Yeah, no, okay. But here it is. This is why we love Oregon coast. Because it is epic stretches of beaches. And really wide, huge beaches where you can do all kinds of activities. You see some people biking here, but you can also drive even. People drive on these beaches. So as far as coasts and beaches go, this is among the finest in the world, which to me, in the grand scheme of things and popularity of locations to go, this is still largely undiscovered jam. Most people don't come here, but all Northwesterners do. Yeah, because you have these hills. However, it's not a uh, Mediterranean that's been developed for thousands of years. What it is, is also a pretty steep coastal region, quite actually like the Amalfi Coast around Naples. But um, it's raw, it's much more raw nature. It's built up in a different way, in a, in a more American way, you could say, because America is much more of a wilderness than Europe. And especially the Mediterranean region in Europe, which is you know, the cradle of civilization pretty much. We totally enjoyed this beach and we just came out and the sun came out and... It came out strong. And now the parking lot completely filled up. We were like on a few cars on it.
doing a proper walk in the park now right on the ocean and it's really pretty so here's what it looks like immediately under us it's quite amazing and now we're making our way to a lighthouse which overlooks this little cape here here's the lighthouse very cool rock formations on this part here it's like a hole in the rock and then the water spills through it like a blowhole yeah, cool. this is oregon coast about to be sunset we actually look like we may have a lucky break and get a really colorful one among all the clouds normally when the sun shines through is the most colorful type of sunset you can get and yeah you have some really amazing rock formations in the full in the distance there and the beach is just amazing for strolling Under the trees